All right, so I've been sitting on this video for a few days because sometimes I'm like, I don't want to make videos like this because A, it gets all preachy and A, you probably don't want that. But also, you know, it kind of taps into a sector of reality that, again, it's just, it's, it's this really hard thing where you want to talk about it because you're passionate about it or whatever, but you don't because you don't want to take advantage of it and so far and so forth. But every time I've been making a video recently, it's been in my head. So I thought, screw it, we'll throw it out there. It does what it does. And I've seen other people talking about it and not that it makes it right or wrong, but... Hopefully it means that people understand. And kind of the reason I wanted to do it now is after a bank holiday over here in England, just so much mudslinging on the internet, on social media. Like whatever happened, do you remember when you used to go to work, right? You used to go to work and if you didn't like Ted from finances, you would just find ways to avoid Ted from finances. But what you do when you don't have someone on Twitter is you engage them and you poke the bear and they come back at you and then you start throwing, you know, virtual fisticuffs. Just let the other person be. Anyway, it just ties down to... Uh, uh, just it, it, it is specific to wrestling, which obviously, you know, I'm very passionate about. And I do my work for What Culture and we do the podcast on here and so on and so forth. And it kind of does tie into everything that happened with Hannah Kimura earlier in the in the week, which is just the worst tragedy ever. I mean, if you know, you know, if you don't know, it's a professional wrestler and reality star who committed suicide after just being bombarded with negativity, essentially, and just abhorrent tweets and, and messages. But it doesn't start there and it doesn't end there because there's... And it's not just with professional wrestling. I'm just using that because that's what I'm most passionate about and what we're talking about. It happens in any kind of a niche, and especially on the internet. We know this. We know the story. When you can be anonymous and you can say whatever you want and throw it out there, who's going to stop you, right? That's exactly the kind of uh, epidemic, whatever word you want to use, that we're trying to sort out today. How do we police it? And then who polices the police? And you know, everyone. I believe in free speech. I really, really do. But I also believe in responsibility and consequences for your actions. And I also believe it's important to be a good person. And I think what we seem to have forgotten about is that these people we see in the public eye, we just forget that they're humans. And we decide that they are easy targets or, uh, or allowed targets just because we now have an access point to them. And I think maybe why it's more interesting, interesting is the wrong word, why it's more fascinating, I mean that literally, you know, literally what the word fascinating means, when it comes to professional wrestling, is because you have two different personas, characters, people, when it comes to someone that's a wrestler. You can have, I'm not going to say anybody's name, but you can have, you know, Mr. A, the wrestler, but in real life, Mr. A is Alan Bobcat, right? These, they are two separate people, but people don't do that. They equate them as one and the same. So when they are passing criticism, which you are allowed to do, this is the sort of trigger that made me go, I want to talk about this. Of course you're allowed to pass criticism on anything. And it's better if you're constructive, of course it is. But if you just want to say, I thought that match was crap, I didn't like that promo, you're absolutely allowed to do that. But it's all about intent and it's all about language. And I think this was the thing that pushed me over the edge. It's also just about being a nice person. And I kind of feel like being a nice person is looked down upon in 2020, or it makes you some kind of loser, or it makes you a pansy. I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't get it. This ties into the Mora Ronaldo situation you may remember from last year. I believe it was Corey Graves said something. Mora Ronaldo took it the wrong way. Mora Ronaldo had to go and not work on television for a while. He's the NXT commentator, in case you're watching this, you don't watch wrestling. Now, my take on this, actually, go the way. Some people's take on this was, well, if Mara Ronaldo can't take criticism, which is what it was, uh, maybe I think maybe it overstepped the boundaries a little bit, but that's for, for you to interpret. That's not for me to interpret. If Maranara can't take criticism, he shouldn't be doing that job. If you want to fall on that side of the fence, that's fine. But the way that I look at it is this. So just to make sure I, 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 sep I segregate these in the right way. If you are just attacking somebody's personality and their character, and you're saying terrible things, and you're telling them to do horrible things... There is absolutely no excuse, 100% no excuse, you shouldn't be doing it and you're in the wrong and really you need to go and take a look in the mirror because you're allowing clearly something that's eating away at you to you know, manifest itself on the internet. But on the other side, if we take someone like Maranalo who has been very open about his mental health struggles, wouldn't it just be better to go, you know what, Maranalo, I'm, I'm talking hypothetically here, didn't do a good job in that sense. He did a bad job. He had a bad night. But because I know he's sensitive, which by the way, is absolutely fine. You're allowed to be sensitive. Maybe something you need to work on depending on the environment you want to put yourself in. But if you have someone that's a talented Amaro Nalo, and you know that it will upset them, just don't say it. 
Say it to a mate. WhatsApp someone. Text them. You know, you don't have to go for the jugular every single time. And I brought this up when it happened. I was like, oh, no. What kind of world do you want to live in? I said, I want to live in a world where I take things on a case-by-case basis. I'm not saying it's a blanket rule for everyone. But I am saying if I know that I'm going to upset Mario Arlo, and all we're talking about here is a couple of lines of dialogue that I didn't like in his commentary, man, move on. Find a different problem. Like, genuinely, be happy that's the only thing you have to be worried about today. And leave it up to Vince McMahon or Triple H or Jerry Borash, whoever the hell employs Mauro Ronaldo to, to be the people to make that decision. And by and large, I think most people th- think he did a great job and continues to do a good job. But it just, it blows my mind because even after the events of this week, you still have people saying, well, she should have had a thicker skin. You, you can teach yourself to have a thick skin. Like I'm not putting myself in the same category of these people, but I some days get inundated with a bunch of assholes being assholes. And sometimes it's easier than other days, but ultimately the, it's just the way I look at it. This is who I am as a human. I think this is awesome. I, I've uh, worked very, very hard to try and get to a certain level where I wanted people to engage with me and now they're engaging with me. And honestly, it's like 90% good, 10% bad. But as long as people give a crap, that to me is all good. I can handle it. But again, if somebody else can't handle it, doesn't mean they get kicked out of, of the world. I just, oh man. And in terms of dealing with it too, unfortunately it is something that you have to take on board. What we would like to do is we all like to get together and get a bunch of pitchforks and you know march these people down into a deep dark hole and just leave them there to yell at each other, but it's not going to happen. But you know, if you are, I think it's important to remember that when you are involved in this kind of stuff, it's very unlikely you're going to convince the other person otherwise. You're not all going to say what you're doing is wrong and epiphany and a light bulb is going to go off on their head. It's very, very rare. Use the block button. Use the mute button. Uh, ban keywords, which you can do on Twitter especially. You shouldn't have to do it. No, it is bullcrap. It is. But it's much better to protect your own mental health if people are going to come after you. And if you have any kind of notoriety, some people are going to come after you. Like I can give a down to a Raw, SmackDown, and AEW, and I'll get told I'm a shill. I get told to die, go die, Miller. What are you talking about? You're being paid off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get a kick out of it. Not in a in a, in a bad way. It just I basically like water off a duck's back, as people say. I chuckle away. Some days it annoys me, but I talk to my friends, and you know I, I get it out, and I make sure I go and focus on something productive and something positive. It doesn't always work that way, but by and large, that's who I am. But just protect yourself. And you kind of get these people as well that are going, oh, you're such a snowflake because you, you blocked me. Who cares, man? You don't owe these people anything. You don't owe them zero. You don't owe them squat. Like, even if you, get, even if you do get some kind of criticism that's actually fair, block them if it makes you feel better. I mean, in terms of growing as a person, maybe it's good to take that criticism on board and think, well, what can I do better next time? It's usually the ones that get to me the most, the ones that go, you know what, they're wrong. Unfortunately, they're also, you know, plastered with swear words and who knows what else, insults. But... That's, you know, it's nobody else's responsibility to grow but yours. And, you know, if you are going to put yourself in the public limelight, of course you have to expect expect some flack. But that doesn't mean you can't try and guard yourself against it as well. Maybe it's just best to come off social media. Um, But I really, I don't understand, especially when it comes to wrestling this. You know, I didn't like so-and-so's match. I didn't like so-and-so's match. I hate them. I think they should do this. And then equate it to other things that's going on in their personal life. Like, you just don't... You just shouldn't do it. And again, a bunch of comments will say, oh, you, whatever. I don't care. You shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. If it's affecting people mentally and it's affecting the way that they're living their lives and they're struggling, just don't do it. Criticize the match. Okay, people botch. You can go talk about that until the cows come home. There's forums. There's everything. But as soon as you start doing at, you know, wrestler, official Twitter handle here, say, I hate you. I think you should go away. This sucked. You did this in your personal life. That's uh, no, no, no. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. That's just how I feel about it. And I think after everything that's gone on this week, it's been a terrible week for wrestling in many ways. Well, last week, I should say. Uh, And I just felt like I needed to talk about it. You know, I make videos here all the time. As I'm just going to sit down, put a microphone on, no bells, no whistles, get it out there. It does what it does. And now I don't feel like I'm just ignoring it, which I kind of had a little part of my my head as I feel like I need to say something, especially because we've done mental health videos on here before. It kind of all... It kind of all came in together. So there it is. There's my two cents. I'm not going to turn comments off. I probably won't go in the comments on this video. Run wild. Say, do whatever you do. Uh, But just maybe if you feel like you've done this, sit down and try and figure out why. And remember that we're all human beings. None of us are aliens, as far as we know. Maybe Vince McMahon. But none of us are are aliens. We're just human beings trying to get through each and every day, especially at the moment because the world flipping sucks. And when you have your own kind, getting a bit hippy trippy, but when you have your own kind, also just, you know, jabbing a knife right into your back, that sometimes can be too much. 
It really, really can. And the comment that can push you over the edge, some people may not understand, but that's because you've had 500 other comments before that. And it was the 501st one that just said, oh, I don't think you're a good, I don't know, I think you're bad looking. Even if something as simple as that, right? But before that, they got told to kill themselves. And before that, they got told they're a shitty person. And before that, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. And I've been there. The worst thing that ever happened to me was when, uh, well, no, not the worst thing that happened to me. The worst thing that ever happened to me on the internet, and I still get it now, is when there was the... Uh, the divide, we'll call it, in what culture. Again, I, I know as much as anybody else. And everybody had decided that, oh, Simon, <laughs> Simon must be responsible for this. So we will go and yell at him. And it got quite crazy for a while. But the way that I dealt with it eventually is like, man, I'm just going to do my thing. I'm going to enjoy it. And I still get tweets every now and then of people going, oh, whatever, whatever. I do my thing. I love what I do. I'm very privileged and blessed to do what I do. You don't have to like it. That's the thing. If you're watching, awesome, brilliant. If you're watching, you hate me, awesome, brilliant. You're giving me a click. That's what it's all about. And if you want nothing to do with me, awesome. You're allowed to make that choice. Uh, let's just wrap it up there. I'm starting to rant. I'm starting to ramble, which is very passionate. It's very close to my heart. One day, when the time is right, I will make a video and I will explain all of this. And, uh, you know, I, I do have experiences with it. But now is not that time. In the meantime, if you could like the video, share the video, comment, you know all the deals. Uh, it's just good for engagement and stuff like that. But on this video, you know what? I don't really care. This was more about a message I wanted to send out. Have good evenings if you're watching this on Monday, and I'll see you throughout the week.